morning and namaskar everyone. I've decided to do a, a little darshan with you and, and Guru Var, which is the Thursday, the day of the preceptor and the Hindu calendar. It's a beautiful day. The weather is splendid. And if you enjoy seeing color in our world, it's beautiful with the sun out, radiant. You see plant life in abundance, amazing. If only you can appreciate the beauty of our world. Of course, we have done <laughs> so much damage to it, polluted the air, slowly destroying the soils, but now we can recover. Let's focus on recovery. The most beautiful thing in, in the whole experience is the light from within. Really experiencing the light from within, that makes all the difference. Yeah, we are the light. <laughs> we are the light. Not only me, but all of us. And uh, some are more hidden than others, but we are all the light. We are the light. We are the light of the world. I was listening to the president of Ukraine last evening and he says even though Christmas would be without electricity but there is still so much gratitude in our hearts and the light is within. He spoke about the inner light and staying strong in that. What a hero. The strength of inner conviction and born for a role I would say. Just like the footballer Messi. Born for a role, just natural. Thank you all for joining. It's marvelous to see you. I'm looking forward to the these days in the year. as we draw towards the end of 2022 and approach 2023 with all the hope in our hearts for a better year ahead, a better world ahead, a better community ahead, more sharing, more caring, more healing, Those of you who have joined in for Darshan, thank you so much. It's my joy always to gather you in Darshan and to help to awaken the light in your spaces as it is within the inner. Just a reminder on this Guru Var, that in, in our world today there are many messengers of the light and you know them by their actions. As the Christ would have said, by your fruits you shall know them. They exude goodness, compassion, kindness, forgiveness. The Bible describes them as the salt of the earth. The Hindus call them Sadgurus. Or they call them the masters of the light. But truly they are the salt of the earth.
that is the consciousness that changed my life, the consciousness of the Guru, the Guru power, Guru Tattva, Guru principle it's called. That has changed my life completely. And I hope in some ways that I have touched your life and I have brought more light into your life by my example, by who I am, by what I exude from my being, what you feel in my presence. I want to thank, thank you for that. Thank you for appreciating the messages that I bring to you, the love that I, I bring to you, the wisdom that I bring to you from my experiences in the inner space. I thank you for appreciating that. I'm meeting you now in the inner space and I'm meeting you in that energy of light. I'm meeting you in the energy of the masters. That's where I center. I center where the energy of the masters are. And let, let me bring to you today, as we speak about the Guru Tattva and Guru Principle, the guiding power outside and inside. And it's amazing when when we can see the guidance from the whole universe, and the, then the Guru Tattva becomes um, the guiding power of the universe, that we begin to see that the response of the universe to guide us through the voice of another, through an event, through thoughts in the mind, through a book, through a movie, through just overhearing someone saying something, and you know that it's a message for you. Because it resonates with what you're thinking and what you need to know. And it, it, it's such a joy to see a whole universe responding as the Guru, not just to one human being. And I think that is what is beautiful of my Master. Swami Muktanand. When I met him, I, I felt his power from the inside of me. All my attempts to to have a relationship with him on the outside didn't work at all. Because for two years before, I've been influenced by his power. The inner guru. So when I met him, I had to focus inside and that inner power to really appreciate and understand him. That was a big, big lesson for me in this space. So all he did for me was model how the energy can work within a human being. And to this day, I'm, I'm extremely grateful, not only to him, but to all masters. Because I see all masters as one, no matter who they are. But when I see that they are living to bring light to the planet, I celebrate. <laughs> I'm just welcoming the sounds and the environment at this time. Yeah, so the, the light of Christmas is the light of kindness, compassion, love. That's what the Master Jesus brought to our world. Love and compassion, kindness, forgiveness. And it is the message of all masters. The Buddha, the Sadgurus, the Avatar. So what I wanted to bring to your attention is the, our deathless nature. That we don't identify with that which is changing. Whether it's a concept, whether it's a, an identity, in our being, we don't hold it as reality. But we hold as reality that which doesn't change. The unchanging we hold as reality, that is where God is. The unchanging reality. And that can only happen from the, the center of observing, this, the center of light within us. That's where the reality is. And that's where I, I seek to take you every time I speak with you, every time I am with you, I seek to take you in that space where you can effortlessly look at the world around you without being affected by it. Equanimity, even-mindedness. The Bhagavad Gita says, Samatvam Yoga Uchute, that yoga really means the even-mindedness that we can have, that we can experience in the consciousness. Samatvam. 
But as we go deeper and deeper within, guided by the inner guru and outer guru, I always say that the outer guru pushes us inside, the inner guru pulls us to center. So we need both in the play. So when we gather together, that is the opportunity that you have. To center on the inner guru and let it guide you on the inside. And the same principle lies in all of us. When I left India as a young man of 21, in 1975. I felt that Guru Tattva inside of me. What is love? Love was the guiding power. That creates such fulfillment within me. Brought back the joy that I was missing. And put me in a steady platform for sadhana the spiritual discipline and, and growth. That was a major, major life-changing event in my life. And I always thank the, 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 the masters for providing that to me. So I hope that the influence of the masters and in your inner space can help you to come to that experience of inner light. That's where the glory is. That's where the heaven is. That's where the, the deathlessness is. It is at the center of the inner light. That's what I bring to you in every, every darshan. If only you can just lay back and appreciate the space that you begin to to experience when you come into this darshan. Because it carries the strength of all the gurus. Vasudeva is only one of the several instruments of the universe. But every, every instrument of light we need to appreciate with gratitude and we need to listen to their call. It's a call of the universe. And I hope that you can appreciate my silence because it's just full of life. It's full of peace, full of love, full of divinity, full of the divine, full of the Christmas spirit, full of hope. I'm going to stay with you throughout this uh, ending of the year that we may greet the new year totally differently, full of faith, full of hope, full of energy from within that can help us to co-create slowly but surely a better world. As we are in this season, I want to focus on the, the prayer of Jesus. I know it was uh, uttered in Aramaic, but it's such a beautiful prayer that's coming to my mind. Our Father, that's the Supreme Self. Who art in heaven or which art in heaven? Either one. The Supreme Self that lies at the center of the heart of the entire universe. Hallowed be thy name, whatever we call you. Sahasranamne, the mantra says. Hallowed be thy name, 
Thy kingdom come. Let your kingdom come into my experience. Let me begin to experience your kingdom. All the heavenly planes. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will, your divine will manifest in and through me in the human experience. From that divine space within me, let your will manifest in the human experience. Not my will, Lord, but your will. Thy will be done on earth as it is in the heavenly planes. Forgive us our trespasses, the mistakes we make, the transgressions from your space. Forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us, the ego, as we become the forgiving ego. Lead us not into temptation, the world is tempting. Pleasure tempts, power tempts. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from these, all these distractions that is called tamasic, darkness, evil. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh. Such a beautiful prayer, isn't it? Whichever language you utter it in, it's a perfect prayer. And you know what, what he said? <laughs> he said, make sure. <laughs> You let go of any kind of um, ill thinking you have of others before you go into prayer. You should agree with that adversity. Don't fight. Bhagavad Gita says, don't, don't fight with the ones who cannot understand. Don't unsettle their minds. To be the example. Yeah, so I simply wanted to wish you all of you a, a great day. To wish us a great day in our world, whichever time zone you're in. And I'm going to end a little darshan today with the prayer of togetherness in the light. Om Sahana Vavatu. May we all be protected together. Sahana Bhunaktu. May we all be nourished together. Sahaviryam Karava Bahai. May we all be strong together. May our knowledge always be full of light. May we always be friends, united, or in oneness across the diversity. May we always be in oneness across the diversity. Om Shanti, peace. Shanti, peace. Shanti. Peace. Thank you so much, everyone. I simply wanted to, to do an impromptu darshan today on Thursday, Guru Bar, and it was a joy to be with you. Have an awesome day, everyone. All my love and every blessing of the universe. Namaskar.